Hello, welcome to On Track TV. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create the photo that is behind me here. We're using many, many steps. This is the most advanced series yet. So stay tuned and fasten your seatbelts. Let's dive in. So I'm working with two photos, this one and this one, and I'm going to go somewhat quick at a quick pace so that we can get through everything that we need to do. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is open up our photo and I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm just going to select all corners of the iPhone like so because this is the area we are going to be working in and I want it to be all white. And what I'm going to do is click Alt Delete and then Alt Deselect. Now what I'm going to do is add in an effect onto this. I'm going to click Effects. We're going to click on Inner Shadow and I'm going to make this at 90 degrees. I'm going to put this at normal. We're going to bring this to about a zero. We're going to bring this to 27 and we're going to bring this to 18. Now I'm going to pause and remind you guys that everything I'm doing in this video we have learned how to do step by step. That's why I'm not explaining it to you. I'm just kind of showing you how to put all of the different techniques we've learned together to create something very very cool. So after we've done all this, we're going to bring in our other photo. So I'm going to click Control A to select it all, then copy, go into my other picture and paste it. I'm going to free transform this by clicking Alt T. We're going to hold down Shift while we make it a little bit bigger. And the key here is to cover the entire surface of the iPhone in blue. So I'm going to make, need to make this much, much larger. Bring her up, don't want to cut her head off, but as you can see, both corners are reached and covered in blue. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to click enter. I'm going to go down to the opacity here, and we're going to bring it down to about 45. Looks good. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to copy this layer. Now I have two. I'm going to turn this layer off, and I'm going to select onto this layer, and I'm going to click Control Alt G and that deletes everything that is around this and then I'm going to go back up to this layer turn it on and I'm going to click on my selection tool we've gone over all the different selection tools so you select whichever one you like the best this one I'm just going to choose lasso tool and I'm going to do a really really rough kind of outline draw of everything around her sort of like this I'm focusing on the stuff that's reaching outside of the iPhone for this image release I'm then going to click on refined edge and I'm going to turn all of these settings up a little tiny bit and kind of just draw over it again this makes um, the drawing that I've made a little bit more perfect kind of removes all the other stuff that's actually worked out really really well then I'm going to bring this down and click new layer with layer mask. That's what we're going to output it to. I click OK. And there we are like that. I'm then going to go over to the opacity, turn the opacity back up, turn the opacity back up for this one as well, like so. And there we have it. It is so, so cool. Now, we can continue to take this farther and farther. Obviously, every single Photoshop project that you're working with, you can keep on adding in effects and messing it in more. Maybe I would want to bring up her hand a little bit more over here, but these videos, like they can't be hours and hours long, so I'm not going to be showing every technique, but that is just a really basic, cool trick to start using all the different techniques that we've worked with. I might even select on my background here and then add in a photo filter, maybe to help blend everything in. Um, maybe choose the color to be a little bit more in the blue range, like over here, the color of the water, maybe like this, blue. or I could use my color and select on it. Let's just select maybe a blue like this, click OK, and then bring it up. And as you can see, everything is getting a little bit more blue. All right. So that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to this first trick on Photoshop. I'm so excited for you guys. Remember to visit www.ontracktv for more videos on Photoshop CS6. We have all the different levels from beginner to advanced. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.